Hey everyone, we're back with more Skies for Arcadia. We just took down Big Oro's ship. We've got Cat and Stripe X1, which means we get another 2,000 EXP. Or EXP, HP. And we're gonna probably have to fight the Lynx now. See you later, Big Oro. I, I don't believe it! They survived my Big Oro cannon! Beleza! I wouldn't expect anything less from you, handsome. Not even Vigoro could stop you. As an admiral in the Valuan Arma Armada, I shall defeat you. No, you shouldn't. What? I guess we're not. We have to fight the, the Lynx. Ah, they re reawakened the blue Gigas. Of course they did. What was that? Ah, Vice, look! <laughs> Soon I shall be rid of both the Westerners and the Tanko, and probably your own lane, you idiot. Go, Blueheim! Blow them out of the sky! Oh, this music's really good. It's probably a Metroid. Oh shit, get, su get, get, get sunk, Armada. This must be the blue wind the king was talking about. The winds are too strong, our ships are losing control. We can't hold our formations. If this keeps up, all our ships will be destroyed. I didn't want to do this, but we have no choice. All ships retreat. It's Blueheim. We might be able to get take him out with the Dolphinus. I really hope so. It doesn't look like we have much of a choice. All right, everyone, let's go. It's up to us. I was hoping they wouldn't make me fight any more of these gigas, because this is a pain in the ass. Alright. Blue Arm is the blue gigas. It will most likely attack with wind and wave attacks. Well, we don't have much time to think of a plan at this point, so we'll just have to look for a weakness as we fight it. Okay, so, uh, da, da, da. uh, we're not gonna do much shooting for now, I don't think. Hey, Silver, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Appreciate the fall and appreciate the chats. Look forward to getting to know ya. Phoenix Ray. Okay, that hurt, but wasn't too dangerous. Just save up enough to use our blue hunt or our, uh, our cannon. Assessing damage, okay. We got blue lightning. How badly is this gonna fuck me up? 17, or 1,078. Okay, that was a lot less than I thought it was gonna be. I 
can't believe how fast that thing is. I never thought something so big could move so fast. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have you focus. I'm gonna have you guard. I'm gonna have you guard. And I'm gonna have you... Heal up all damage we take. I'm gonna have you guard and you guard. This is gonna be a defense round because if I do it right, I, I'll get two Yamato cannons on the next turn. Well, I only get one, but I have two chances to use it. There you go, we're back in good shape. Getting hit with Phoenix right now. So, we have the chance of two heavy attacks coming in on the next round. So, what I'm thinking... Here's what I'm thinking. Um, we're going to go in and we're going to do this on the third round. I'm going to have you cast in from here. I'm going to have you... attack with this right here. Now normally what I would do is fire off um, something else, but I'm going to have you guard right here. And the reason for that is if I get attacked... Uh, it's very weird for them to put two like that in a row, though they did do that against one of the other ship battles in the past. But I'm thinking with the two red squares there... Oh, we'll see. We'll see. This may fuck me up and kill me, who knows. It's a bit odd that there was no, like, requirement for me to line up the, the magic cannon, though, so... That's why it's surprising to me. But here goes. Moonstone cannon, fire. Yeah, 
Yeah, you took 25,000 from that. Not, nothing to, to, to be shy about. Blue wins. Okay, so this is the attack that I was supposed to be afraid of because of the, the king said. Eight hundred and twenty. Hmm. All right, we got thrown back a little bit, but we're still in attack position. Yeah, it looks like the ship can handle that big bird's wind attack if we just brace ourselves for it. Enough talk, everyone. Now is our chance. Vice, we await your command. So my thoughts were... Either we should attack the, uh... Like, with the blue winds. Or he was going to do some big attack to me before I used my cannon. That would have been bad. Or after. I thought, well, maybe he's going to use it after. That's why they did two. Because you got the two red ones right after that. So I figured if I was going to guard, those two red ones were going to fuck me up. Or if I didn't guard or evade, um, I would get this range of attacks, and so far that's what I have, so. Worked out pretty good, I think. This will hurt. I should be able to heal up most of this with the deluxe kit later, though. Unless it does more than 8,000 to me randomly. Nope. Okay. We'll heal all that plus a little more. Ten thousand damage with that. Awesome. Oh, he's taking evasive action on my fucking Moonstone Cannon shot. You fuck. That's alright. Wait, no, he's not. Okay, well, he did a little more than I can heal up this round, but that's fine. We'll negate most of the damage. And now, he'll get hit with this. Moonstone cannon, fire! Oh, he hates it. No, 25,000 off of him. Alright, let's start saving up some, uh, some focus so that we can get, uh, another Moonstone Cannon fire off. Hey, Faye! Welcome back! We had someone else in chat who was looking for a, uh, remake for this game. Okay, so. Uh, we're going to... God. We're going to God. We're not going to fire our Moonstone Cannon this time. We're going to focus. And we're going to God. As this turn's going to hurt. I also don't have enough SP to fire the Moonstone Cannon the third time, so I'm gonna wait for that. But with us guarding, we can weather most of this storm, I think. The Phoenix Ray!
his fine. Then we're gonna focus. He's probably gonna start up his attack because I suspect we got a blue. Uh, we got a blue uh, winds coming up here. No. Interesting. Yeah, this guy's got really cool looking attacks. Oh wait, yeah we do, okay. I read this fuck, fuck like a book. If we're lucky, that might leave us open enough to use another, uh... Another, uh, magic cannon. Alright, we've withstood its wind attack again! Now it's our turn to fight back! Okay, so we don't get a, um... Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I am going to have... You fire our Yamato spirit. I'm gonna have you... I don't think we need Incrim right now. Yeah, I'll Incrim, it's fine. And I will have you... Focus. Shit, I was gonna heal, never mind. Oh well, it's fine. We still have a ton of HP. And we have income up, so we'll lower the amount of damage we take. Oh, he's preparing his attack. Alright. We're kicking butt today! So the ship battles take a while, but they're fun to kind of chess move yourself around to figure it out. That's fine, I'll just heal up next round. Unless this does like a godly- uh, yeah, it's only doing 2430. Alright. See, so yeah, unless he does like an ungodly amount of damage, we should be okay. There's another 19,000 just for that, so... Be back at two? Or in an hour? Okay, Faye. Have fun. Good luck. Or I hope your, uh, your students do well on your exam, and uh, hopefully you can share some more of this with us later. Yeah, that did a little bit, but we can heal all that up easily. Easy peasy. Okay. Now we're full health again. It's assessing damage, okay. Here comes our torpedo. Next round, you'll take a little bit of damage, maybe even die. Oh, I missed. Damn. That's fine. Third round. Oh, this is the fourth round, sorry. It should be able to hit him with... Blue Lightning. This will be doing 3,000, 6,000 damage. Nope. Well, yeah, roughly 3,000. Almost 3,000. Thirty-two thousand damage. That combo did more than my magic magic cannon did. Look at that! Vice levels up. 
We got another captain strike. We got another 4,000 HP for our dude coming our way. For our ship. I, I can't believe it. The air pirates defeated Blueheim. I need to get out of here. Huh? Kagan, you cannot escape. Surrender or die. I, I surrender. Of course you do. You're a coward. You send your son put up more fight than you did. How are they gonna get through the dark rift like that? Brave adventurers from the west. I thank you for saving Yafutoma. But it was my country that caused all of this. I am terribly sorry for all the trouble caused by the Valuans. I don't know how I can make it up to you. Prince Enrique, please, raise your head. Daigo has explained everything to me. You feel responsible because you are a Valuan prince, but it is not your fault. Thank you for your understanding, but we have only won the battle. As we speak, the Armada is regrouping. Until Valua sets itself back down the path of righteousness, I will continue to fight them. I see. Very well then. I will pray for your well-being. And perhaps the Magosphere will aid you in your fight. Take it with you. Ooh. Really? Are you sure it's okay? Didn't you say it's necessary in appointing a successor to the throne? <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Even without a symbol, I have such an accomplished successor already. I've also decided to return to my father and accept the responsibility of defending my people. That's great! Hey, what happened to Kangan and Miraji? They were exiled to Tenko Isle. We figured that if they spent some time in exile, they'd realize what they've done and become better people. Or kill each other. <laughs> I like that plan, it serves them right! That reminds me, I noticed that your ship isn't capable of going to great heights or depths. Here, take this with you. This is from my people. It contains all the knowledge necessary to enable your ship to fly higher or lower than you've ever imagined. Wow, thank you! I'll make sure we put it to good use. Father, I have something to ask of you. Please, let me go with these people. What? If what they say is true, and there are matters of great importance occurring in the West. You and Dago both said you will stay here to protect our country, but I am helping defend our country by helping these people on their quest. Hmm. Well said, Mogi. I am proud to have you as a sister. Prince Enrique, I speak to you not as a fellow prince, but as a brother concerned for his sister's well-being. Please, take care of her. Hmm. You have my word. I will defend her with my life. Princess, let us join forces and return peace to this world. Yes, Prince Enrique. I entrust my life to you. I like how uh, everyone's just like, oh, right, okay, cool. She's, she's, she's coming with us. It's fine. Very well, then. It appears I do not have much choice in this matter anyways. Enrique, you're getting much more reliable by the minute. You seem like a different person. Just until recently, all I ever saw of you was the back of your head leaning over the railing of a ship. Aika! Do you have to constantly remind me about that? <laughs> she's right, Enrique. Yes. Alright, let's go home. Let's go heal. You received the Blue Moon Crystal. You received the Book on Polarity. Mogi has joined your crew as a delegate. I was actually considering using uh, my one little uh, little dude there who uh, has the ability to help me um, reduce the amount of damage my ship takes by uh, basically stopping me from taking any damage all around, but he wasn't, the blue Gigas wasn't dealing all that much damage. Not that I couldn't just take a moment and heal. Alright. You guys ready to make the Delphinus even stronger?
4,800. I should have stayed at the end. I should have slept before that. I should have used those before I slept, sorry. We have finished that part. Uh, I guess we can leave now. The item shop doesn't really sell anything that I want. So I'm not 100% certain where we're headed next. Uh, I guess we go back to Crescent Isle. Seems like a good plan to me at least. And that was good though, guys. We're making really good progress through this game. I have a strong feeling we're going to be done it next week. It's great that we got the blue crystal, but and all. But where do we go from here? Perhaps we should return to the Crescent Isle and study the book on sh ship polarity in order to modify the Dolphinus. Go home? But that's to the west of here. How are we supposed to get back? Maybe we can try to go east from here. Wait a second. We'll just be getting farther away from Crescent Isle. Um, didn't Beleza say that she came here and do it by going west from Ixitaka? If that's true, then if we go east from here, we should be able to reach Ixitaka. What, so you mean that the east and west of the world are connected? Hmm. I seem to recall hearing legends about the world being round. According to geological studies of Lua, the world is a sphere. That means that the east is connected to the west, and the world is north is connected to the south. Of course, no one has ever proven this, and those that believe this to be true are branded as heretics. That's interesting. Well, it looks like we're going to see if Beleza was telling the truth or not. We came to Yapatoma by, from Crescent Isle by heading east. We'll continue on sailing to the east, and if we reach Crescent Isle, that'll prove to the, that the world is round. Yay! Well, you mean we're actually going to try to sail around the world? All right, everyone, prepare for departure. We're going east. Destination, Crescent Isle. Okay. To the east. Alright, so what's going on with these? Alright. I don't think we need the Lambda verse these two, but we will if we have to. Oh, that's right, she's a little stronger now. She's got a Cutlass. No, Enrique is surprisingly strong. So is Vice. That's fun. Okay, his rank on purple went up. He learned Panica.
Yeah, so that would be Ixitaka to the south. So do I want to turn south, I guess? So we can go through the... To the Ixitaka? I guess that would be the best bet, wouldn't it? Hi, Wintrig! How goes it? We got blue. What was the title of the stream? Why was it bugging you? Oh, yeah, that's what I get for uh, creating my uh, title while still being mostly asleep. Thank you. I understand. What was I doing? Right, I was checking how much time was on this turn. Oh, we can reset the recording. Good. <laughs> 